Roger, please. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us your support. On August 7, as I was walking with my mother for dinner to celebrate her birthday, I was attacked by a group of young people at Roosevelt Island. They called us Osama bin Laden and told us to go back to our country. One of them punched us in the face. Another one punched me in the back of neck. I tried to pursue them, but had to call the police and go to the hospital. My family and I have always deplored hate crimes from a distance. On August 7, this thing changed. We now had to experience the pain inflicted from such a crime, but also have to bear the agony during the healing process. Thankfully, we found much needed support from family, friends, and from the citizens of this country far and near. Unfortunately, we were surrounded by hatred during the incident, but now we find ourselves surrounded by all the positive energy. As much as the healing process is painful, it also gave us the time to reflect on certain things which I would like to share with you. How come young minds that have so much to learn and explore have become the breeding grounds of hatred? Should we hold these teenagers accountable or their parents or the education system here in New York City, which has failed them and as a result has failed us? My mother and I were called Osama bin Laden. Is the O word the new N word? Ever since 9-11 happened, the whole world changed forever. Sikhs became victims of hate crime in increasing numbers. Despite so many resources that have been channeled towards diversity awareness campaigns, Sikhs are still being attacked. We need more proactive strategies at all levels of society to end this bigotry. Policymakers need to come up with a plan to develop and implement a mandatory diversity education program in schools and colleges that teaches young people about the value of all faiths and ethnicities. That's the right time to catch these young minds and offer them the opportunity to explore the beauty that lies in diversity. Not taking any action is a recipe for disaster and an invitation for further abuse and crime. I look for justice, but not for vengeance. If these young people or their parents come forward and accept their faults, we can let the healing begin and take an active approach to involve them in the community and pass a message of peace and tolerance to the society at large. Thank you.